Oh, good afternoon guys. Welcome to part two of the cellar hole dig. I just arrived to the location. The cellar hole is right up there. And I'm just grabbing my stuff now. This is uh, some of the stuff that I found yesterday. What you didn't see was this cool little bottle here. And it's nothing embossed on it, but it's kind of it's got a really cool shape, tall. And I don't know if there was anything else that I found because I didn't really scratch around all that long after I uh, turned off the video. But yeah, I think that was it. And uh, so we're going to go hit it again today. Grab my favorite beverage. Which is all locked up. And then I drop my shovel. And my coffee almost fell over. Stay. Good boy. All right. Uh, it's not far at all from the road, which is convenient for me. So. And there's the pile that I made yesterday. Just kind of give you a shot from uh, above. I'll probably finish working that to the right and in this corner near the pile here and then maybe if I have enough time I'll start back over towards the, the other way so all right we'll see what happens guys well, my first find guys nice looking marble You can rub it a little bit. Well, that's a nice one. Looks like it's hand blown. I don't know a whole lot about marbles, but that's a really pretty one. I like that one. I'll put it in this little bucket. Alright. I decided to come down and uh work this corner so haven't found anything besides that yet I just started really cut a little bit of roots away but oh, yeah <clears throat> it's a nice ma mason jar <clears throat> sorry but all right I'll keep you posted so I got something with some embossing on it I don't know if it's whole or what it is oh neat West Hartford, Connecticut, A.C. Peterson, Inc. Huh. Cottage cheese. Well, that's pretty cool. Another first for me. I'll try to clean off the slug plate a little bit so you can see it better. There you go. Well, that's cool. That was like right towards the top, so. All right. Put that in the bucket. All right. All right, guys. Looks like I might have another pint mason down here. Oh, it's broken. Damn it. Oh, well. That's an earlier one, too. There's the base. Dang it. It's got a nice lugged lid on it though. I'll take that. Nice consolidated fruit jar. Monogram on the porcelain liner. Very cool. I'm bummed about the jar, but what are you going to do? It's got a nice ground lip on it. Oh, uh, bummer. Is that there's something else right next to it? That might be early, too. No, no, it's not. Oh, it's cracked. It's one of those Deerfoot Farms jars. I found a couple of these whole. 
All right, guys. All right, just plucked out a little guy here. It's a cork top, but it's not super old. Davies Rose and Company, Boston. You can see, it's machine made, but it's in Boston. It's a cork top, so we're gonna go and hang on to that one. Uh, did find a couple of older shards. They were just shards, but you can see there's a base of one right there. It's an early one, and then that one over there. A couple more of those Deerfoot Farm jars, but they're damaged. But I got these really big rocks in my way right now, and I don't know if there's anything underneath or not. But I'm gonna work it and see. We'll see if there's anything underneath. I just dug out this broken spoon. Little Miss Muffet, if you can see it. Get my camera to focus. That's really neat. Too bad it wasn't whole, but oh well. I made it back over to the stone wall. And then big rocks are still under here, but I just had to move a whole bunch of uh, roots. So hopefully it'll get a little easier. Once I get all this crap out of the way. Alright, stay tuned. Hoop. My old lightning jar bottom. Alright, stay tuned. Just pulled this out, guys. A little midget. Broken midget jar. Midget. Mason's midget. Oh. Still got a good lid. It's got a nice little lug on it. I'll put that in the bucket and mess with that later. All right. I got that big rock there loose, so I'm going to see if I can pull that out. Just dug this one out, guys. This is really neat. It's really too bad it's so busted up, but it's an early salt shaker or something. It's got a ground, ground lip on it, too. That's a bummer. Oh well. The only other thing I found was that. That's blown. Nothing else really. But uh, I'm right next to the wall now and I'm down pretty deep. Oh. Garbage. And it doesn't seem to be getting any older, so I'm gonna probably work this corner and turn and head back that way all right guys I worked this corner pretty well here and I still haven't found much but I just pulled this cool little thing out it's like a dude ride a tractor of course it doesn't have the wheels but it's really neat I'll probably just keep that just for the heck of it you know I'm starting to work the back edge of that wall and then I'll probably work my way that way for today and uh well maybe we'll find something i just ran into a whole pile of metal and i pulled this out this is so neat i love these old chains it's handmade chains some links are longer than others it's really cool i'm gonna hang on to that but no glass down in here to speak of really Keep picking. Oop, what's that? Broken milk bottle. Alright. Keep picking. Alright guys, I just come across what looks to be maybe a couple earlier bottles down in here. <laughs> oh yeah. It's one of those really rare foss bottles <laughs> find a million of them this one I don't believe is a foss it's probably one of those really rare unembossed bottles <laughs> it's blown however let me hang on to that one 
It's a 16 sided or something like that. And this one's obviously broken. Yep. Alright. And that looks like it. That. <laughs> Alright, if I find anything else, guys, I'll let you know. It's another would have been cool find. I think the airplane is busted, but it's cool the things you find when you're dump digging. You know, it's the little things that keep you going. You just never know what you're gonna find. Still not having that much luck though, guys, finding anything decent. I might have to. turn around and go the other way which I plan on doing anyways but I just hate the feeling of not knowing could there be an older pocket in this area you know never know it looks like it would have been the doorstep right there but and that's maybe just where the cellar the hole was access to the cellar. I don't know. Alright, keep scratching. I might head back that way in a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna find much on this side. This is probably where the chimney was. It looks like it's all rocks, so but alright guys. Alright guys, speaking of weird things, check this thing out. It's a camel. <laughs> Didn't know what it was at first because it was flipped over like this, but it's weird. Not sure what that would have went to, but definitely different. All right. Oh, guys, I accidentally hit the uh, play button there, but I uh, record, sorry. I uh, turned and went the other way. I'm still not finding much, guys. Um, I think I might call it a day today. <clears throat> there was a gentleman that came up to me and was telling me about another spot um, General area. He didn't give me a specific, but he told me he was walking through the woods uh, in between these couple of old properties and uh, started feeling crunching under his feet and uh, He moved the leaves around and he found some old bottles so I might go take a walk and check that out, but I'm just not not finding anything. It's been a while since I found anything, so I just might do that. My back's starting to get sore from moving all these big rocks and pulling on these roots, but well, all right. Just want to say thank you guys uh, once again. And I appreciate everybody that subscribes and watches my videos and comments and enjoys doing what I doing what I do. And uh, I hope you guys are getting out there and finding goodies. All right, take care, guys. Till next time.